Small-scale success stories. Regenerative ag in action. This is The Change Underground. I'm your host, John. Decarbonise the air. Recarbonise the soil. Welcome to episode 5 of season 9. This is all about uh, small-scale success stories. Regen ag continues to gain prominence as a sustainable and environmentally conscious approach to farming. While it's often associated with large-scale operations, the principles of Regen Ag can be successfully applied to small-scale farming, community gardens, and even the backyard. In this episode, we'll explore small-scale success stories highlighting how regenerative ag is making a significant impact and creating positive change in local communities. Regen Ag, a brief overview. So before diving into the success stories, it's essential we understand what Regen Ag actually is. At its core, Regen Agriculture is an approach to farming that seeks to restore and regenerate the health of ecosystems. It focuses on sustainable and holistic practices that prioritise soil health, biodiversity and carbon sequestration. Some of the key principles of the Regen Ag, in, of Regen Ag include Minimising soil disturbance. This involves practices such as no-till farming to maintain soil structure and prevent erosion. Cover cropping, the use of cover crops like legumes and grasses between cash crops helps prevent soil erosion as well, suppresses weeds and enhances soil health. A diverse crop rotation, regularly changing the crops grown in an area helps break pest cycles, improve nutrient cycling and enhances soil health. Livestock integration, integrating livestock into the farming system can help with nutrient cycling, adding organic matter directly to the soil and even pest control. And lastly, compost and organic matter. Adding organic matter through compost and mulching enriches the soil, making it more fertile and better at retaining moisture. Okay, before we go any further, you might be hearing a puss cat in the background. Uh, he was missing for six days, came back last at Diavo with a couple of puncture wounds on his right leg at the back. By the time we got him to the vet on Monday, we found he had a bullet in him. It, um, Nothing serious. Somehow it managed to miss everything and just get lodged under the skin. But he does have two holes on his back right leg. How he got two holes from one bullet is a bit of a mystery that might be, go a long way to explain the JFK shot. But anyway, on with the show. So if you hear any meowing in the background, that's what that is. Small scale success story number one. Urban Suburban Community Gardens In many urban suburban settings, community gardens are thriving examples of regen ag on a small scale. These gardens are often established on vacant lots or in urban parks, where neighbours come together to grow their food or council puts aside land. Using regenerative practices, these gardens enrich the soil, provide fresh produce to local residents and foster a sense of community. An example with links in the show notes, is the Katoomba Community Organic Garden in Katoomba, New South Wales, of all places. It's a vibrant urban farm using regenerative techniques to grow a wide variety of crops, lots of them tree-based, because this example is driven by permaculture principles. Not only provides fresh organic produce to local residents, but also serves as a gathering place for the community. I've had some good nights there myself in the past. One of the highlights of this garden is the collection of heritage slash heirloom apple varieties planted in an archway, forming the spine of one section of the garden. Now these trees are available for cuttings and represent a significant resource for both the local community and the wider horticultural industry. Small scale success story number two, school gardens. School gardens are another fantastic example of regen ag in action teaching the next generation about sustainable farming practices. These gardens are often integrated into school curricula, offering students hands-on experience with growing food and then eating it, connecting them to the environment. In Australia, the Kitchen Garden Foundation has been hugely successful in integrating food gardens into primary schools across all states and territories. Uh, From their website, I quote, As well as instilling positive food habits in students through growing, harvesting, preparing and sharing fresh produce, a kitchen garden program offers life and practical skills, 
student well-being and connectedness, alternative ways of learning for increased engagement, and investigation into sustainability and food security. For schools and educators, the program provides curriculum-integrated materials adaptable to any school environment, personalised support and guidance for the Kitchen Garden Foundation team, professional development opportunities, community of practice, community of practice for support and inspiration, and increased community and social inclusion, end quote. A program that does so much more than just, in inverted commas, grow food. Small-scale success story number three, backyard gardening. Even on the smallest of scales, Regen Ag practices can make a significant difference. Many people are taking up gardening in their own backyards to grow their own vegetables, herbs and fruits. By using Regen techniques such as composting, mulching and no-till gardening, individuals enrich their soil, conserve water and produce food. The horticulture program I run at a local disability support service is a great example of this. We used raised beds, compost and open pollinated seeds. Clients who have passed through the program have their gardens at home. Small steps, but many small steps, all leading to great strides in reducing fuel and poison consuming, CO2 producing lawns. And more food grown by the people for the people who actually eat it. It's a program I'm very proud of. Uh, Small scale success story number four, permaculture homesteads. Permaculture is a particular type of regen ag and continues to gain popularity among those seeking self-sufficiency in a sustainable manner. Small-scale permaculture homesteads blend agriculture with elements of sustainable living, renewable energy and integrated land management. Uh, Jeff Lawson's Zatuna Farm, Jeff's an early pioneer in permaculture, uh, he's in New South Wales, about a half an hour or so outside Lismore, in New South Wales, and serves, it serves as an excellent example. This 66-acre permaculture farm showcases how regen practices can create a thriving ecosystem while meeting human needs. With techniques like swales for water management, perennial food forests, and natural building, the Tuna Farm demonstrates the potential for small-scale regenerative ag to be self-sustaining and harmonious as a way of living in tune with the environment. Small-scale regen agriculture matters. These small-scale success stories demonstrate that regenerative ag is not limited to large commercial farms, nor should it be. It can be embraced by communities, schools, families, and even individuals in their backyard. The impact of regen practices on small scales is significant, ranging from increased access to fresh, healthy food to environmental benefits like improved soil health, carbon sequestration, and biodiversity conservation. Regen Ag offers an inclusive and adaptable framework that can be embraced by anyone who seeks to make a positive impact on their li- in their lives and on the environment. By encouraging small-scale Regen Ag in our communities, we contribute to a more sustainable and ecologically sound future while nurturing a profound connection with the land and the food we eat. These success stories serve as examples that regenerative practices thrive at any scale, making a real difference in the world. And that's that for this week. We'll see you all in a week. Thanks for listening. This has been a JM Podcasting Services production. Link in the show notes.